Hey, hey there! Pat and AJ post show video for the 17th of May. It's a Wednesday. AJ is out today, not feeling well, or she's just playing hooky because it's going to be 86 degrees and sunny um, in May. All right, let's talk about apologies. That's what we're doing right now. Apologies. Not easy to give, right? Sometimes it's, it's not easy to tell when, when you should give them, right? There are people that I say apologize for everything, and then there are people that apologize uh, for nothing. But I will say there's something to be said about a good heartfelt apology, and it's okay to eat crow. You know, that actually, I think, makes people respect you a little bit more. Two big instances of people apologizing this week that really kind of warmed my heart. Now, the first off uh, comes from a news commentator. Those people never apologize. You see, um, recently at a White House visit, uh, the vice president accidentally may have bumped up against a, a child who was part of a big photo op. And this child proceeded to hound the vice president around the room for an apology. Well, the vice president gave it to him, saying, hey, didn't mean to swatch you there. I didn't see you. Um, meanwhile, this news commentator decided to go insane on the kid and use the ever-loving term snowflake. And then she found out that he was actually on the autism spectrum. The boy's mother informed people that they're teaching him about social norms and that if, it, if he were to accidentally bump or hit someone, he'd apologize to them. So he was simply asking for that from the vice president. And what did that news commentator do? Deny, double down, or she? I am so sorry to the family. My intention was never to hurt a kid and his mom. We had absolutely no idea that Michael was on the autism spectrum. And as a gay woman and feminist, I've spent most of my adult life working to improve the lives of women and children and those who are disenfranchised. I get it, and I apologize. Apology accepted. And she's not the only one. Uh, a news anchor out in Salt Lake City where I used to work for two years. She's been anchoring the news there for a long time. Got busted for a DUI this week. Um, and she actually took to the airwaves as well. I mean, Utah, a very interesting state as it is. Alcohol, very touchy subject there. And, and look at what she just did last night when she returned to the airwaves. Last Tuesday night, I made a serious lapse in judgment. I drank alcohol after I got off of work. And then I chose to get behind the wheel of my car. I was pulled over and I was charged with suspicion of driving under the influence of alcohol. I am ashamed and humiliated by my decision. It was selfish. I could have hurt someone else or myself. It was also selfish because I hurt you, KUTV viewers, who I truly consider to be my friends. Another apology. Look, you have two ladies there that realized they were in the wrong, and there's nothing wrong with them saying, I'm sorry. Yes, apologies are hard to give, especially when you're trying to prove a point or you're feeling like you're in some kind of death to the uh, battle to the death. Look, I apologize all the time around here. I just apologized the other day because I inadvertently thought I may have uh, hurt somebody's feelings. So the next time it goes through your head, should, should, I, should I apologize? I mean, I don't, uh, if you feel you should, you probably should. And then apology accepted. Click on our button below if you want to subscribe to the Cars 108 YouTube channel, watch all the videos, share the videos, older ones are over here, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.